dating. I was talking to a friend yesterday about this, about dating, because she's been out, she's older than me. We were talking about how, um, how to date and how, how it's been challenging because as a trans woman, you want to feel validated. You're in your identity and, and someone else is, is like reflecting that to you. And most of the time, or at least through my own experience with online dating but sometimes it happens where you meet someone and then you're talking to them and even though you wrote it on your bio they don't read it <laughs> they don't read your bio which is very very frustrating because you've invested your time talking to someone and i had this situation happen to me a week ago where i had someone um invite me on a valentine's date and then out of nowhere, I just have this feeling like he doesn't know that I'm trans. And typically that's, my intuition always, is always right, thankfully. Um, and so I'm like, I'm talking to him and, and we're, you know, vibing and we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go see a movie on Monday, Valentine's date. And it just, it gives me to ask him about um, my trans status. And I was like, do you happen, do you know that I'm trans? Like, did you, did you read my bio, basically? And he, he goes completely dark. He doesn't reply to me. Um, he was the one pursuing me. So he was the one sending multiple texts at a time and talking a lot and and asking me what movie i want to watch and because i told him basically like it got it got revealed that i'm trans something happened where um i wasn't a person anymore i wasn't a beautiful woman anymore um and that really hurt me because he he blocked me out of everywhere he unmatched me on the dating apps and so i was just i don't know like i was experiencing rejection which happens a lot in dating and so i don't know my advice would be to go through those experiences and to understand that no person um can give you that validation i was talking also with other cis people about this other queer people about this and they were all like sharing that they've been rejected because of other things because of other aspects of their lives and it sometimes doesn't really come from you it's not personal and i don't think it's transphobic to not want to date a trans person people that sometimes like do not understand um the trans experience and and Another thing, oh my god, okay, so this is something that really, like, bugs me, um, because I don't, I'm not trying to fool, I'm not trying to fool anyone, okay? And so this is something else that comes up a lot where I'm talking to someone, or no, I'm not even talking to them, they read my bio, so actually they read my bio, and I'm talking to them, and something happens where they just feel like I fool them, like, <laughs> like I deceive them, and that really, like, also, that's another thing that I'm like, I'm not trying to fool anyone, I'm, I'm only trying to date people, and that's what I tell them. My advice would be to just be straightforward with what you want, and, you know, like, there, there are times where it really hurts me, I feel like, like everyone around me or everyone that I seem to be attracted to doesn't reciprocate that to me and sometimes as a trans person when when I experience that certain level of trauma of being rejected over and over again of being ignored once they know that I'm trans like that really just like puts a lot of weight on you and if you're reading the if you if you're seeing this just know that you're not alone it's same like i know i'm not alone because i talk to people about this so 
I would say as a trans person, try to find ways in which you can talk your experience without feeling judged. Um, because most of the times you are being judged in these dating apps or in the dating world, you're being judged whether you are perceiving it or not. And it's our job as trans women to build that tough skin and to not let things affect us. I talk to people, I talk to men that I'm really attracted to. They're not interested because I'm trans. And then I find someone else that's less attracted and settle for them. And you see yourself being reflected on the TV all the time. And it's always just things like being the other women, being a prostitute times makes you, makes you question whether you're worthy of love or not. I sometimes have moments where my hair doesn't look like this and my makeup doesn't look like this and I don't feel my great, I don't feel my best. So I feel like being attached to the outcome of um, because I have bottom surgery, I'm gonna now feel and experience love. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see is that like just because I'm, I have bottom surgery doesn't mean that there's like a magic wand, you know, it's not gonna fix anything. I wish I would tell myself I needed to experience what I needed to experience. I needed to go through hell, through rejection over and over again until I realize, until you build that tough skin and you realize Everything around you is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. And that's something that it's hard because it's like, it's always about you, but not really. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's always about what you think you deserve. We get the love that we think we deserve. And for me, it's always unavailable people. Because in ways I've been unavailable myself, I've had um, anatomy that I wasn't I wasn't in love with and so I felt like the only way to experience love was through this level of like fantasy those things that are not real because it's not like it's not like you have the person in front of you because most of the times the person that I'm trying to be with I'm only trying to convince them to love me I'm not trying to be in love with them or I'm not trying to get to know them or or and that's 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 my fault that's my that's my bad and so that's that's when I get to work on myself and and do the work inside and <sighs> yeah I hope this video was helpful um I wasn't planning on filming at this time it's very early in the morning so I hope you enjoyed this video it really helps if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, because it gives the algorithm, it lets the algorithm know that my videos are doing well. And if my videos are doing well, I get more subscribers and I can do this for a living. So if you are down to help me, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next week, okay? Bye.